Okay, here's part two of the Graymark three tube shortwave radio kit. And by the way, looking in the, in the instruction manual, someone wrote the date of 1975. I think it was April 1975 when they completed this. So it pretty much answers the question of when this thing was made. But Anyways, you can you may recall from part one, I showed you some errors that had been made in the assembly of this radio. Number one, the antenna connector had been shorted to ground, and although I have I have not corrected that, I do have the terminal lifted where I can clip an antenna lead here for testing purposes, and also the plates of the tuning capacitor and band spread control were bent and needed to be corrected and this wiring that I've replaced with purple wiring was was not in good shape the insulation was melted in some spots and wasn't soldered good and unfortunately I didn't have any yellow hookup wire right at the moment so I just used purple well I fixed all that back and now I can get a faint whisper on a couple of the strong local stations so I decided to do some checking and I've learned in old equipment the first thing you do is check the power supply voltages so I checked this voltage right here on C1 and it was around 135 volts I can live with that and then I move over to C2 and the voltage is only 33 volts. Well, coming off of that source, it goes up to the screen grid of the 50C5 audio output tube. And it comes around here through a resistor up to the plate of the 12AT7 first audio stage. And I discovered what someone did. They they got these resistors mixed up. This is supposed to be a 4.7k ohm. They put a 47,000 in there. And up here, let me find it here. Bear with me just a minute. But this resistor was supposed to be a 47k and they put the 4.7k in its place so they just got the resistors installed backwards so the more and more I see of this the more I know that this radio never played it never worked so let me turn these resistors around and see what happens okay I've switched the resistors around now before you get on me for being just as sloppy as what the previous builder was, this is strictly temporary. I've determined that I would be better off just to dismantle this thing and start over. So I just tacked in, switched these two resistors around here. They were reversed from the way they should have been. And it does work a little better now, but it still has some issues. That's on the strongest local station with the volume turned all the way up. So, given the sloppiness of this, I just think it would just be easier for me to dismantle this, do it right, and be done with it. So with that said, this will conclude part two of this video, and... And I will obtain the correct hookup wire, the correct color hookup wire to do this. I know it really doesn't doesn't matter what color you use, but I want to try to keep it as original looking as possible. And I will dismantle this and rebuild it. So the next time you see this, it should look a whole lot neater and hopefully perform better. Okay, thanks for watching and... Part 3 will be coming along in the near future.